So uh, we'll give a little report on um, the conference, and then I think um, Jamil has some um, statistics and things like that. Um, next slide, please. Or I haven't actually done this. There we go. As usual, was a blast. <laughs> Not literally. That's a good thing. We should know that we wrote the slide before the end. <laughs> so uh, Prague is a very fun place, by the way. OK, thanks to our sponsors, Google, LinkedIn, Cumulus, Manjahatu, Manjitatu, HA Proxy, and Zevanet, SecureNet, Red Hat, Mellanox, Mobile, EdgeX, and Suzy. So thanks again. Without uh, sponsorship, obviously. Uh, And make sure you go back, tell your companies how much of a blast it was, and they should sponsor us. And thanks to our organizational team. So we have the two Yuri's uh, co-chair, um, Christy, Clara, Jamal, and Steve. So thank you. Tom, 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 we should make them stand up a little. Make them stand up and embarrass them? Sure. Yeah. All right, stand up if you were on the organizational team. Okay, special thanks, uh, event coordinator, Embedia, and our server sponsor, V8, Grandium Hotels Cumulus, did our remote video and audio visual, El Seya. So if you are amongst those groups, please stand up. <laughs> you can stand up all the time. <laughs> Christy, you can remain standing. Oh, we have a special thanks to Kim, Alexander, and Danny. So if you're among those group, please stand up. <laughs> OK, thanks to our illustrious program committee. So Minnie, where are you? So Minnie was our chair. This is a lot of work. <laughs> and and the rest of our program committee, Alexander, Rupa, Yana, Jonas, Neil, Boris, Stefan, Michael, Orr, Sabrina, Peter, Florian, Anjali, Hajime, Andy, and Donald. If you are a program committee member, please stand up. So uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the process, um, we are kind of like a, uh, a review um, type of conference, and we try to do it in the blind. Um, and I think it's working pretty well. We have a lot of objectivity. So our program committee members, they get um, kind of reviews. So if you submit an abstract, these are the people reviewing it. And sometimes you'll get uh, emails back saying we need more information and things like that. Um, that's proof positive that the program committee really is doing their job. They look thoroughly. Um, the content of this conference is at high quality because we have a very dedicated program committee. Okay, uh, thanks to our shepherds. Uh, actually, this time it was mostly Shrijit. So Shrijit, where are you? <laughs> and we have the NetDev Society board. Myself, Pablo, Shrijit, and Jamel. Please stand up. And Jamel, keep standing. So our chair, ladies and gentlemen, Jamel. OK, and of course, thanks to our speakers. Um, as usual, we had quite a, uh, a gamut of interesting proposals. Um, we know that it's a lot of effort to submit the papers, um, do the preparation. Um, well, make sure you submit the papers. <laughs> it's not over yet. So. Um, if you are a speaker, please stand up. Very cool. That, that is a lot of people. OK, thank you are to our attendees. I will not make you all stand up. <laughs> but if you do, you give yourself a standing ovation. So um, some interesting statistics. We had 240 attendees, 35 countries. 
Uh, let's see, uh, a lot of Europe, some South America there. Um, Korea, what? okay, that's good. So, um, yeah, so we're getting a good mix. Uh, Tom, there's, there's a correction. Somebody tricked us. You've listed Deutschland and Germany. It's the same country. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, this is based on the registration. Whoever listed their country. Uh, actually, that, that just split their statistic, right? Okay, some more thanks to our attendees. We increased attendance by 30% over Montreal, yay. Um, apparently the same local attendance, a so local meaning people coming here, so we had 70%, uh, I guess, from out of town, and two remote speakers this time. And more importantly, the t-shirt <laughs> distribution. So uh, th this is a good way to track the overall um, productiveness of, of this group. He uh, Tom, I think the word you're looking for is health of the community. <laughs> so we see the larger t-shirts come in, we know what's happening. So wait, we're doing this twice? Oh, last year and this year. Extra large group, I think. So we had a lot of mediums last year and fewer this year. Okay, so we, did, we got larger? <laughs> All right, so people sitting in front of their computer instead of exercising, that's a good sign. You want to take it? Okay, so uh, as you know, the Native Society is a nonprofit. None of us, none of these volunteers make any money. We don't get paid to fly here. No, nobody pays for our hotels or our food. It's, we, it's pure voluntary work. And we try to be as transparent as we can. But being volunteers, sometimes we are a bit slow in updating this. So we like to, what we try to do is before every conference or after every conference, we publish our financials and we have audited uh, accounting. So if anybody wants to come in and talk to us to see the full audit of all our financials, please uh, reach out to us. But once in a while, we pu uh, twice a year or we publish for each conference what the previous conference was because at this point we're still gathering the stats. Can you put up number two, please? So uh, we have some brief uh, financial statement. Zero two. Document. Um, no, that's not two. <laughs> that's not a financial statement. <laughs> Jamal, maybe you can just provide the summary uh, without the suspense. There, there, there. I don't know if, we, if you guys can see that. Yes, please. <laughs> All right. So this just is a breakdown from Montreal. What we had 36,520. It's all in Canadian dollars in the bank. And uh, how much we got $47,000 in uh, 457 in sponsorships. Registration, 35,800. There's a fee we have to pay because we don't run our own uh, uh, website for registering, 459. And then those uh, sales taxes. So uh, I'll, in the end, we sort of broke even based on how much revenue we got. Uh, but we had two or three uh, people that we, s we pay for bursaries for people who can't afford it but really have to show up. Uh, so that's around $6,000. If you uh, ignore the $36,000, we essentially were short 5,000, which was taken out of the 36,000, uh, 529. So we still had some money in the bank, uh, which we used to initial uh, the setup here in Prague. Uh, we're going to publish for the two conferences after we, we we'll make an official uh, release of the financials after this conference is uh, calculated. Uh, and that's it. If you can put it back to slide number one, uh, number one please. So if, sorry, if there's any questions on this. If you have questions now or you can come and reach out to any of the board members afterwards or send us an email or however way you want to reach us, we, we, we will we can provide uh, Jamal, you I full can, detailed. Jamal, I wanted to say that. Okay. So, um, I'm sure most of you people are wondering, what the hell is this? 
So uh, the, the point of doing this is the two things that you should all walk away with, right? One is this is a very cheap conference uh, in That's the right. grand scheme of conferences. If, you, if any of you are involved with any of your corporate sponsorship programs, you will see that most, like if you go to a VMworld or an IDF or something, your platinum sponsorship starts at $100,000 or something around those, those, that mark. The whole conference would be covered by one sponsorship. The second is that this is really a, your conference. I mean, in fact, specifically, the amount of time and effort Jamal puts into this conference in itself is staggering. And, but it's not for profit. It's for making sure this community thrives, right? So, so when, when it comes around, right, when the next conference comes around, please take that extra 5% effort and make sure that the conference is a success because its value and its survival is going to be depend on, dependent on you guys more than on anybody else or anything else. That's Thank cool. you. Thanks, Shuji. Yep. So it's the conference I'd like to go to. So I, I hope you feel the same way. Um, th there's an open question. <laughs> that, should I bring that up now? Uh, NetDev next. So I, I put it on the slide. You'll see, keep going. Yeah, it's on the slide. Can, can you bring up the slides again? That's zero one, please. Yeah, keep going. Uh, oh, I, I can flip. Doop, 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 I think. Uh, should we do this? Yes, maybe we do an open mic first and then. Uh, yeah, the open mic. Okay, what, why feedback time? We'll do feedback for about 15 minutes or so and then. Uh, anybody wants the mic? There's a, there's a Somebody mic. Somebody behind you. There's there. a mic request there. Oh. A quick request. Oh. Okay. Is that working? Yeah. yeah. A quick request. I know that's also not easy, but can you put the slides online before the presentation? We we try. <laughs> okay, speakers, can you submit your slides before your presentation? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, somebody has to drag them to do that. Right. But yeah. uh, how long before? <laughs> no, just like, <laughs> like, yeah, one minute. Like one minute? To, just okay. to have it so during the on. presentation. Uh, you can okay. Yeah, sorry, it's still, again, it's that part is still volunteer driven. Um, we're we're, we're but but I, think, I think this is a very good we request tried. because yeah. we've, I mean, a, a chance to give a little bit of uh, accolades. The audio video this conference has been amazing. Yeah. We've not always had that, so maybe a, a, a yes. And for people who've been to every one of the NetDevs before, we know it's a bit of a hit and miss. And I think this is a requirement for presentations from here on out. We should try to say one week before the slides are in or we are not going to be able to put you on the, on the list because... No, no, but, but I, I, everybody works for a last minute, right? All I'm saying is make an artificial last so minute. I, okay. How many people did the slide deck on the plane? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so then, then the day before, that's fine. The day before the conference starts. But I think if the audio, visual, audio video is not good, it'll be so much better if people can follow along rather can, than having yeah, to squint at the screen. I think it makes it's a real people loss. pay attention if they don't see the slides, right? Yeah. Oh, I see. There's, there's a bonus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jamal <laughs> saying people will say, ah, the slides are, uh, yeah, I got yeah, the content. The I see. And you go and get a copy because you've seen everything. Sriji, I'll, I'll just offer a, a tiny bit of, uh, a tiny response to this, is that you can, you can say that. Uh, I'm not sure how you're going to enforce it. Uh, well, yes. Because I, I mean the, that, I mean yeah, in yeah, all yeah, sincerity. Because, it's because the schedule is already published, yes, yes. That's a fair point. And people will work on slides uh, up until yeah, the last moment. Yeah. So it's true, but but I do like the slides being available early. Idea or not early could be a minute before the talk. Right? <coughs> okay, w we're going to try. Let's right, uh, we're working on synchronizing our website with our storage system. Uh -huh. So far, we have a synchronized storage system. If you submit your slide at any time, the AV immediately gets it synced. That's the that's what we've done for this conference. For the next one, we'll make that same system probably sync up with the website. Right, so, and we'll just enable it just on the day or the day before so that it shows up on the website as well. That, that's something we can work on. Sorry. Oh, okay, go ahead, please. Uh, 
So um, since we were talking about uh, statistics and representation, I wanted to add uh, what I've observed um, uh, in the last two, three years with the conference and all the effort put in by the board members and Jamal, uh, the women representation has gone higher in the conference, which is a really good thing to see um, because it represents the Linux community better. And um, it also gives um, courage to all other women to come join and present. So thank you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> So the, we, we are trying to put an effort in that direction we, without claiming we're doing so, right? <laughs> right. Any, I, I wanted to see the question then, like what was the, what, what, I want some feedback on the submissions process on the, I mean this is, I, I want to maybe even see that question with a statement. The submission process is difficult, right? I mean, this is a very wide area. It's difficult to get with all volunteer force, dates, times, programs, software behind it, blah, 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 all of those things sorted out. So bear with us a little bit, but also be a little bit honest in providing us feedback. It doesn't have to be right now. It can be via email. It can be through any other means that you have used before. But it would be very useful to get some ideas on the table on what is working well, what is absolutely painful and how we can do the paper like as, as Tom said the, if the point is to make the paper quality high what can we do to keep it high or make it even better than what it is today and specifically the things that I think we need to worry about is uh, is how is the process working are you getting feedback and, and provide your your input both as an author if you can and also as an audience member what would you like to see better what would you like to have understood better are there questions, are there topics, are there specific areas that we should try to invite a few more speakers around? We've, we've internally wrestled with trying to get more tracks on, on board. If there are things that you guys would like to see things organized around, it would be very useful to get some feedback. But, but do participate, right? Like I think the worst response here would be no response. Single track, multiple tracks. So um, uh, one quick point along that, those lines. So we had to have an experiment this time, the industry panel. I think that would be wonderful to get experience or a good feedback um, from from the, the group on that. And in particular, I, if it's positive, I think we can start looking at what other types of industries to bring in. So there are opportunities, and we do have um, some flexibility in s sort of these future experiments. But it's always good if this is kind of user driven uh, to get that feedback. Comments, comments in that front. Any. Did you, people like the industry panel, for example? I, I, in fact, I want to add a sentence. Remember, it's your conference, so you get to decide. What, what conference would you want to go to? So tell us what you would want to see next. So it's industry a, it's panel. a struggle for us sometimes. We, we know what, I know what I like. Because you'll go to this conference anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> industry uh, panel, any, uh, how many people yeah. were, were, thought it was a good idea? Okay. It's about Probably 50 percent. Can you see again? How many people have no opinion? <laughs> oh, okay. How many people just decided to take a break during the industry? Panel? <laughs> Two. How many did? <laughs> How many didn't like it? No, no, there's no shame in saying you didn't like it. Okay, just. It's I okay. mean. Say, think of it again, like I said, think of it as you have two days, right? Because, you know, it's not, it's not exactly kernel hacking, but uh, there's a correlation, right? Hackathons. Do we need hackathons? Right. Uh, did you, you, you on the mic? You should probably have a hackathon as well. Uh, uh, next, sorry, time. Ne next time a hackathon? Yeah. A day, two, before half or after? Two is too much. Eh? No, just half a day. Half a day. How many people are up for that? Bo half a day won't work? Four participants so far. So, so he <laughs> Five. Here, here's an operative question. Yes, sir. In going to this conference, how many people feel like they now have some new work or some new ideas they're going to go back and work on? Oh. Wow. 
So we did the lightning talks. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that one was good. So lightning talks. Uh, yeah. Tom, I know you're not very fond of them. What do you think? Um, so how many of you are familiar with lightning talks? Okay. So how many like them in general? How many do not like them? And that's, I think that's what you're going to get. So I don't know. My, I have mixed feelings about them. And they're so fast and rushed. And it's also a question, do, do you feel like you didn't get enough content in three days, eight hours a day? So just a, a, a quick uh, note on the, the um, on the on the hackathon. Oh. I don't think you can ma yeah. I don't um, think you can manage a hackathon in half a day because it's about the amount of time you have to say hi and get a coffee. Um, and if you're actually starting to code anything serious at all, you need at least a whole day. Um, otherwise, it doesn't work. Um, That's my opinion, of course. Yeah. So can I? So that takes us to four days then. Yes. No, I, I actually, that's, I think that's a question in itself, right? Remember my question. What would, if you were driving this conference, how would you drive it? Would you give it more days or would you give it more content? Or would you think, or would you say the size and the content is per almost correct? And let's just change the components a little bit. Um, can I answer? <laughs> um, to make another suggestion, maybe just actually allocating some time for people to sit down and maybe not write code, but just look at code and uh, go through things together. Um, that is between the, the, the conference blocks. So preferably not after the, the, the day ends, because that's when everyone goes to dinner and everything, but some, some kind of slot in there. Yeah, I was so thinking something like breakout sessions, yeah. where like the quick guys can get together, yep. and the TCP guys can get together, so, give so them a room and a whiteboard. So, they do. so I, I have one quick thing I want to follow up with that, uh, with a show of hands, right? So the choices today are more parallel tracks and a little more breathing room, or as much single track as possible. I, I don't know if you know this, but uh, um, Jamal had like a f long hairstyle before he started doing the scheduling. <laughs> then he kept pulling the hair out every, every five minutes, and we ended up with the schedule that we have today, and he spent two weeks on it. So this isn't easy, right? I mean, this is, these are all hard choices. So, if it's two days, it's going to be a dense program. Either you go multi-track, multi not just two, and you'll get more time, or you have to do something else. There was a comment from, oh, so many. May I have some? Maybe, maybe I can just end on yeah. my comment no, I've please. been waiting for. Because yes, like, yes, I, I, I think the multi-track wasn't that great. Uh, it wasn't that great, because the multi-track choice. Like I enjoyed it more to have everybody in one room um, and being able to follow all the presentations. But it also, it's. It depends on the schedule, right? Like if you if you can actually, if you have topics that you can separate out more nicely and you actually have different groups in different rooms, then it might work better, but it's hard. Yeah. And, and our, our current separation. Okay, so. So uh, one, one comment about the whole hackathon thing, it's just, it's just an anecdote. So the IPsec guys, we were uh, talking earlier this week and suddenly we had this, this brilliant idea yesterday and then since then we've been like hacking. And we've been doing it off to the side, you know, we, we go off in the breaks and do things and then we're going to go to the IETF hackathon tomorrow and stuff. So is that helpful? Like, you know, not everyone listens to every talk anyway and you know, you can always go off to the side and to have separate rooms set up for these sort of things mm -hmm. where you can, you we know, hack at things, thing is that helpful? I, I, I've program. been to many IETFs and I've never found a hackathon particularly useful. People find a way when they want to find a way to do this sort of thing. Um, I, I think that uh, the first day here was really good, uh, which has multiple sessions, but you have to compromise. Uh, and uh, like I was in participating in Jasper and um, uh, workshop on uh, hands-on on XDP. It was really, really nice. And I think uh, it has to be moderated. Someone has to prepare it because you have short time. And I don't think how you can do hackathon in such a short time. So it, it's good to have uh, the first day with multiple sessions. People can moderate either a uh, hands-on uh, hands uh, workshop or uh, a brainstorm or uh, uh, going with a certain code in the kernel or doing demo. And we have some expert here for performance on various fields. Um, that I think that that can be a really good. Uh, that was a really good, and we should continue in that. And it has. Um, it's. I don't think that hackathon would work. Um, so uh, I'll 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 echo that that thought. I don't think a hackathon is particularly useful here. 
at the same time one of the things somebody asked if if there's new work that i'm taking back from here and i definitely am and a lot of that came out of side conversations that i had and i want to have some more side conversations i've not had the time to have them yet so uh, i think what somani says is right there's there's a natural cadence to these things and there's sometimes you find that there are a couple of talks that you can skip and mutually and go sit somewhere and, and chat about things but if there was to be an additional uh, component i would say more um, extended break times might be useful but that's 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 a li nice to have not not necessary to have i certainly don't think a hackathon is is particularly useful so let, let me do one more survey how many people think the sessions are more productive and more useful than the hallway conversations so sessions are better than hallway conversations raise your hand Maybe a half raise. OK, OK. Now, be honest, hallway conversations, how many people found those more useful? But it's, OK, OK. I think they're both. So, well, it, 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 obviously, we want both of them to be productive, and, and that's a I, lot I, of it. I think we need both. I mean, when you come here, you have to have hallway conversations. That's probably a good reason to even show up here, even if you don't attend the sessions. That's what I do at the ITF. Well, <laughs> so, so my, so, uh, that's a different story. Right. <laughs> so, so my point was, um, the hallway sessions are in the hallway. Maybe we just need a way to have people grab rooms on the fly. So, 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 yeah, so I, I <laughs> exactly don't like that equal balance. I think there's a third option, right? Of, that's a third option. Which is half and half. But, but I think uh, the, to your survey question, I want to add, how many people here would say a three day, would prefer a three-day program to a two-day program or a four-day program, right? I mean, ours was three this time. So, right. so if we were to add it by a day, how many people would prefer that and a slightly more relaxed uh, schedule versus the current program and maybe some way to f you know, slow down time and make a 36-hour day? So three-day program. Okay. Well, so one of the things I'll say. Okay. Four-day program. Oh, okay, sure. Three-day program. Two-day program. Uh, it was either three or four that won. Okay, look, the first day we... No, I'm not counting the workshops. Oh, you're not counting the workshops and tutorials. Actually, uh, another question is how many people like tutorials? You know, there's a lot of new stuff. We bring people who write the code or no. Yeah. Oh, all right. So we can have like a whole day of tutorials. So let me I, just break I, in for a second. All right. If that's okay. I've been, What's, uh, sorry. <laughs> he wants so to I, I want to say something, but yeah. that's okay. Um, no, I just want to go back to something you were talking about a few minutes ago. So I, I like the fact that we have mostly one track. And I like that for two reasons. As, a, as an attendee, there's not the pressure of, oh man, which one am I gonna go to? And then as a speaker, it's like, oh no, who's against me? Because <laughs> that's a legit feeling. You know, you don't wanna, you, you know, even though there's a, a lot of effort made to schedule this stuff really carefully, and make a joke. A a joke. Andy, the, yeah. that's the person facing you, right? Yeah. <laughs> who's going, oh no. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Um, but I think it's, I, think it's I, I did like that we tried to do, with this one yesterday, the morning tracks, Two of them, I think that was good. But if we can, I really like the fact, and I'll echo the sentiment that maybe a little bit larger breaks. Um, for a lot of folks, they've never been to most of the cities we're traveling to. So if we did have like half a day, because usually I go on these trips and people are like, hey, how was it? I was like, the hotel was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so if, you know, I don't know, I want a built in tourist time, but. Do you want to go as crazy as the Debian people? They go up mountain hiking for a. Whatever. What, whatever, um, but just so, something to think about. So, so how many people agree with that? One track is better than two? And two tracks is better than one. Interesting. Four. So one comment. comment um, sorry. One thing I heard from a lot of people is that, and I felt this too, I think that a lot of us were, had to sacrifice on some, some talks because there was too much conflict. So I think we need at least four days or something to spread things out. Uh, oh, give him the mic. Yeah, so give that guy the mic. Right. He's been waiting okay, no. patiently. Well, let's, let's have a mic for that side, yeah. a mic for and this mic side. Has... And the third mic is somewhere. To, to get mic? back to the idea of the hackathon parallel tracks and stuff, one of the things that can happen, and it happened, people will get together with an idea, and they'll find a place, and they'll make time for it. Give them a place to go do that. Leave, leave an empty track room to go into that's just there for people to sit down, get together, and do work. Actually, we did because have you're, empty. you're going to have times when people don't want to go to one of the sessions, they're not interested in it, and they'll, they'll use that time more productive 
if they've got some okay. official so place to go to. We'll do a better job of making people aware that we actually had up to a room up to 100 people, 25, 60, that were just sitting empty that we used today. We used one of them today for one of our meetings. No, but but that's, that was accidental here. No, no, no. We, we even in Montreal we did this. That's right? true. Right. Uh, I think you want a different setup for those rooms and you want like whatever, small round tables or something like that so people can actually grab a table and work together. Okay. Thanks. Sure, but the, but I'll ask my I'll ask my fiscal question then, right? Like, would that would people be willing to pay more for that? Because all of these things are it's all possible, right? All of these are not impossible. The question is, we've always and I know Jamal has worked extra hard at this, trying to keep the costs down. All of these things will raise some pricing somewhere, right? Uh, if we were to go and say, and I think it's an excellent idea, by the way. My, me personally would vote very heavily for a meeting room kind of setup. And it has to be reasonable size because you don't want people to have to wait to get in. So if we were to bake that in, is there, wh where, do you, where do people think elastic elasticity is? Is it in price? How many people think the price of the conference is something that we can go north on? That's a very small set. So, so the extra room begins to look very scared right now and might get shot. Yeah, we, we're trying. I mean, we reduce costs elsewhere. We've tried always to have an extra one or two rooms. That has been our philosophy for some time. We're doing a poor job letting people know about it because I think Christy could just keep a, could just keep a, t a table. You go and sign up with her at the front and you can get your room. Well, I mean, we could always just put down a mat in the hotel lobby and say, <laughs> go okay, so out there. Uh, conclusion here is what? We would like to have bigger breaks so people can... And more days. And more days? Is that, is that accurate? More. Yeah, can I... No, three plus one for workshops. So yeah. workshops and tutorials. And more this tutorials, right? A lot more tutorials. You, you like the tutorial? I, I missed the quick tutorial. See, this is the problem, right? I'm somewhere else. I wanted to attend that, but no, no. So actually, let, right. let me make sure. I think right. I think we we can, maybe I confused this story a little bit. This this time was three full days of of content, one day workshop, and two days of papers, and we most of the people standing were sweating bullets at one point because we didn't know how to fit everything in, and and it was really either reject papers that were interesting or uh, do double track and all the, the crazy gymnastics that we did with breaking this room. So if we want more, more single track, same content, and more breaks, there's only one thing, one other variable left. <laughs> yes. So if that's what people are saying, and let's be sure that that's what people are saying, we want the one more day added to the program so that we can keep maybe have a little more relaxation and keep the content more or less where it is. Is that what people are saying? Sure, I mean, it, so, but either so way, it's, uh, it's saying, more time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like that's not what people are saying. Oh, she said half a day. I just said you should also consider adding half a day so people can fly out Friday afternoon. That's, a, that's still a day in the overall program, especially for international So would, would people prefer tutorials to be totally separate day? Maybe uh, that's like, you, know, you come in one day earlier and that's for, just for tutorials. It could be two tracks of tutorials. Okay. Ha hands? Okay. Well, th that wasn't a tutorial, but um, XTP was a tutorial, for example. So US was a tutorial. There were some of them that were absolutely exactly tutorials. And, and but we actually used it for papers, too. Just I, I, <laughs> I, I know it, it, what you're talking about. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just saying that mm. I, I, don't, I don't think you should change that. I think it's fine to have freedom in, in, in how that works out. Okay, so I'm you, just you saying that people who come here... If you, if you ask them if they want to come for tutorials or not, it seems to suggest a false, like it seems to suggest a false dichotomy that doesn't really exist because I, 
didn't really see, I saw the tutorials, I ended up going to the tutorials and they seemed very much like talks to me. The ones I went to, I would have gone to the XDP one, but I didn't because. Yeah, so the XDP one, or you, if you remember the one that Paul and Somini did in Montreal, it was hands-on. They gave you, and these things require like two, three hours. We are talking about a four day program. Okay, so uh, having said that, maybe we should move to the next uh, point. Sorry. Uh, somebody else uh, wanted to? Okay. Oh, one more. Okay. Oh, another one there. So, would people be okay with staying over on Saturday? Usually, these are co located with IETF, and usually it happens that the IETF hackathon starts when this ends. So, would it help if we moved like the tutorials and stuff to overlap with the hackathon? Nobody wants to say Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the city. But hackathons, <laughs> nobody goes to. <laughs> Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. That's that's in that's input. That's data. Okay. I think there are some some people here or so after if no, there is yeah. if okay. there's a no, if there is some um, not a whole intersection, maybe that's worth exploring. All right. Um, yeah, uh, I would like to say something yeah, similar to the idea that the, some of the tutorials were not really tutorials in the classical sense. Uh, I had similar feelings from some of the workshops on the first day that uh, that was kind of a problem uh, because when you allocate some 90 minutes for a workshop when you want to talk about say five, six topics, that means 15 minutes, which is kind of only short and fast presentation right, of the right. current state, posing the ideas and not much space for talking about them actually. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good point. I so think that would be probably the only thing that I would say that didn't work quite well. I, I agreed. I think I, I, about every workshop was unhappy about the time allocated for them. But, but I mean, in the true Linux, in sort of the true Linux community sense, right? Like there is some value in just saying, I gave you the idea, you know my email address, come find me offline, right? Like everything else. we. We'll come figure it out. So I think I think the choice is not doing it versus doing it in a short way because again we don't have time, right? Yeah, but one and a half hour, I think, may not have been sufficient for no. Netlink hardware offload, TC, um, even TCP analytics with three hours was probably was it okay there? It was right borderline okay. Yeah. I, I should remind us yeah. all that we left at six thirty that day. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> So some, so to put things in perspective, right? Uh, we tried to do this virtual machine thing in Montreal and we were learning. So it didn't work out as well as the XDP workshop did. So I think we're trying to improve the process and make this more hands-on so, so that the workshops and tutorials feel more like workshops and tutorials than just being talked to. Okay, uh, one more question maybe then we'll go to. So one more comment, I'm sorry. Back to, well, the question with the Akathon, if we want to to extend the NetDev event with the ITF, maybe the Akathon could be the overlap between the two events. That's what I said. Mm. But uh, I mean, uh, what, I, what, I want to, uh, what I mean is that um, the, the NetDev Akathon is a joint event with the ITF Akathon. They have really good food and it's free. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think they have no, no, alcohol, think, which is also free. I think that action item is going that way. <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> everything is free over there. No entrance fee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we, we, we'll, ha we'll okay. We, we'll keep it as an option. So we, we need to move on. Uh, I'll, I'll go to the next, the last topic of the day here. So this is where we announce NetDev, the next NetDev. This is our tradition. At the closing ceremony, we announce it. But we have a small dilemma, okay? Uh, there are two choices that we're considering. So our tradition so far has been every eight months, we go to the next place and we rotate uh, co uh, continents. So we were in North America, we came to Europe, next we go to Asia. And we try to tie to the ITF. Those are our, our simple rules. Uh, the next, eight, in the eight months from now, that's what that poor guy you saw that just was talking earlier. Maybe, ca ca can you put on the uh, number three now, please? So, 
we have a host that's more than willing to host us. Uh, normally we find a host, somebody either in our community or somebody who's keen to help. And we have um, a host in, uh, who will speak for himself. There he is. Hi, greeting to you all from Bangkok, Thailand. I'm Sulasak Sengwan Pong. I teach at the Department of Computer Engineering in Kasesar University. We are working with the NetDev Society to select a well suited meeting place for the NetDev Conference. Thank the Society to inviting me to join the conference in Prague. Unfortunately, I'm booked up. Therefore, I have to show up on the video to say hello to you all. On behalf of Thailand Linux Networking Community, I would like to thank the committee to select Bangkok as the conference venue in this upcoming November. The Thai Linux networking community is still small. However, several, several of us gain a lot of benefits from the past NetDev accomplishments. NetDev in Bangkok would be a considerable event that helps driving more and more Linux networking activities in Thailand. As, as you may know, Bangkok is the capital of Thailand with over 10 million people living in the city. It's Thailand's largest and most populated city. Though Bangkok temperatures are quite warm on year-round, the climate in November is getting cooler. November is a very convenient period for the city. In Bangkok, you can enjoy delicious foods, and this is many cultural places which warm hospitality of Thai people. My very best wishes for successful NetDev in Prague. I'm very delighted to welcome you all and look forward to seeing you in Bangkok. Thank you. Thanks. So, this is a. Uh, now, now I'll explain the dilemma we have. That's eight months away. Uh, some of the challenges we have is. Corporate people may not travel probably to the same conference twice a year. It's already, it's within this year we had it in March and we had it, we're now gonna have it in November. Uh, sponsorship, may, maybe corporate, some corporations wouldn't sponsor the same conference twice a year. So th these are the, the uh, challenges we have to deal with. Now, this ties, is the week before the ITF. Uh, Thailand is a lot cheaper than Singapore where the ITF is being held. It's a one hour flight, or you can take a boat, all right? You can come in a week earlier, enjoy the beaches, or stay a week later and enjoy the beaches. I, I had, I've never been there, but I had fantastic uh, beaches around the place. Uh, the other alternative we have, which we're contemplating as a board, is uh, we don't do this in eight months, we do it in a year, so that we can overcome these obstacles and do it, unfortunately that will be Vancouver. That will be the, it, we're back in North America when our choice was supposed to be Asia. So we'd like some feedback from, from the community and what, 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 on what people think. All I know is that somebody said, woo, when Bangkok came up, but no reaction to Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> Vancouver, woo! <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> so, so please give us some feedback as to Weighing out these options, would you come to Bangkok in November? How many would, would consider? Show of hands. Eight, eight months. How, how many of you will come with sponsors? <laughs> so Bangkok, again, let's see. Show of hands, November, it's November. Okay. Vancouver in a year? In a year, it will be in March. March. Right. About exactly one year. Oh, so we are losing three quarters of our population because then they're, they're not going to either location. <laughs> we'll, Let's we'll, try this again. Okay. <laughs> Bangkok in, in November. You have to be in one of the two camps or both. Or both. You can be yeah. in both, yeah. Uh, or uh, um, uh, Vancouver in March. March. Come, please, yeah. I think a whole bunch of people March. are really not going one anywhere. Should you, in, in fairness, this is a year and eight months out. I mean, oh, I don't know what oh, my plans yeah. are either. Somebody likes March, but not Vancouver. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, so th there's a third. Uh, I, sorry, I think it's, uh, it's what, not Tom Ottawa. It's Vancouver. Tom it's said something. Okay. Tom sorry, was saying Wong, something. Go ahead. Tom, repeat. repeat. This, is, this is still in the distance, so obviously people don't have their calendar up trying to figure sure, it out. Sure. 
So maybe, maybe we should ask, what is the possibility? Um, or how many people definitely wouldn't do it? Maybe that's the more operative question. How many wouldn't come to Bangkok if it's in November? If they had the, well, I mean, consider your situation. You're, if you have these corporate constraints, you're not allowed to go to NetDev again this year. Or uh, it's too far, or you just hate Thailand, <laughs> right? right? So. Uh, or you'd rather go to a much nicer place like Hawaii, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does anyone want to comment on this? I think maybe some, some free comments would be good. Liverpool? <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> uh, doing an online pool for this later? Online pool. You want to do a vote? Okay, nobody please. Uh, no trolls allowed. We can set up a Google form. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, actually, you know, I. For, for the corporate guys, uh, the, the people, uh, by that I mean the people with money that can sponsor. Is it unusual to sponsor the same conference twice in a year? Would we be, would we have zero sponsors? Or, you, you, you know, it's totally impossible for you to sponsor again this year. And if you say yes now, we'll record your names. And no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, so, so jokes aside, I think we'll do this online do think very seriously, right? Because this is a pretty big choice. The, the thing that would be a problem would be if you said, yeah, sure, why not? And we spend the effort and we put this together and like, you know, 50 people show up or 40 people show up. Because the other thing that we should note is this year was our highest attendance ever, right? Yes, I should so say we that we're growing, actually. We're projecting up. And the locals are, are important. And okay. when we do it in Prague, a lot of people from around here show up. Right, within two, three hours, uh, because it's easy for them. If we, and we don't want to leave out any other people. Right? They all, we all, they all, we're all members of the same community. There's a community in Asia. There's a community in North America. I know, if, I know you want it in your neighborhood all the time, but think about the other people. So, sorry, uh, do, do we have another? The, all three so mics just over a, there? A, more, more right. a, a comment that um, I would actually love for it to happen in Asia because, as you said, it's, it's nice to move this around, right. especially uh, going to Asia is, is, is good, I think, at this time. Uh, at the same time, I would, I would personally like it to happen with the cadence of a year, uh, just because there's more stuff to talk about, there's more things that I would have done. Oh, trust me, the amount of papers we, we received this time. Sure. By the way, stop submitting at the last minute, please. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, like that's going to happen, right. Joan. Yeah. Right. See, see previous conference, a conversation about slides. Right. <laughs> but, so, uh, mm. I want to second the you know thing that uh, Jana said. It is very hard to get corporate sponsorship twice a year. Mm -hmm. Once is very reasonable, <laughs> and yes, Asia is better choice. So if you had the other mix, you would have seen all the three quarters of people you were losing. They would have raised their hands. <laughs> yeah. we, so Bangkok in March then? Is that what you're saying, Anjali? Yes. <laughs> well. That, that breaks us away from the ITF. Uh, it's a four-month I, <laughs> 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 I do have an out-of-the-box suggestion, since I seem to do this a lot. Mm. How about trying to schedule this back-to-back -back with an 802.1 IEEE? What, yeah. what is that? How about trying to schedule NetDev back-to-back -back with an IEEE 802.1 meeting? I don't know. I've never been to one of those. How many people from here would go to the IEEE meeting? And one? <laughs> okay, Dave, you're on your own, buddy. Uh, no, uh, there was one more. Oh, there was one more. Yeah. Where? <laughs> oh. The IEEE meeting was after the IETF last time, so it was Just the one time, or they always do no, it? No, no, okay. just I, like sometimes we do it, okay. but not in okay. frequent periods. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to say a short comment on that uh, notion of the same conference twice in the same year. Uh, for many companies, perhaps most, it's not about calendar year, it's about fiscal year, which is different in each company. So I already ran into this problem once when one of the conferences was in, I think, uh, September and another was in April. 
So uh, when it's not necessarily the same calendar year. Yeah. What, what's your fiscal year end? Uh, no, no, you're saying. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, the Sorry. financial planning in companies is not in calendar years, but right. for some period of 12 months, which yeah, yeah. So for some companies starts in April, some July. Right, right. So, September. so yes, understood. But if you are doing an eight-month cycle, there will be a year when it'll be twice, right? It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, uh, but it's not necessarily when yeah, it's yeah, a sure. calendar year. Sure. I already ran into this problem once sure. when it was not the same calendar. So it's year. not for lack of content. I'm not concerned about content, to be honest with you. It's uh, yeah. submissions. There's plenty of submissions. Okay, I'm pretty sure people. It's the problem is the financial, the economical aspect at this point. The issue with the calendar year is not so much when it starts and when it ends, but that we actually need to plan one calendar year in advance. So that would mean if you want to make more than one conference a year, you also need to announce the second one well in advance so that the location is known and the travel cost can be pre-calculated. We, we, we're not that, we're not as organized as <laughs> So in, in the IETF, we also had the problem that our income was um, tied to the IETF meeting, right? And then what we see right now is we offer remote participation. So the number of attendees goes down, our income goes down. So what we're trying with our sponsoring model right now is also to not bind it to a meeting. Just, you know, ask for sponsoring for a year and then try to spend the money more flexibly. So we could do, I mean, that's a, that's a good idea and we should just do that, right? So, so I mean, we can do that without even having a conversation because the board gets the money, you decide. Okay, so, so the cut is for one year now. We started at six months, we went to eight, and now we're going to a year. No, 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 no. What's next? No. Two years? No, it's just like you no, no. say, what, I want your money you for saying? the next year, what? and I want this amount of money, and then you use it for all conference so, you're planning in that year. So what you're saying, from a funding model perspective, right. we, uh, for a platinum sponsor, let's say, the amount is X per year. And that we decide whether it's divide by two or divide uh, by so one or divide by three. One. Yeah. Okay. So it's so apparently the ITF has already started doing that. So yes. you. Okay. you Is that like we try to because it doesn't scale because we have less income per meeting but more costs which are continuously running. Or wants to say something. Uh, so Bangkok. I understand the challenge that right. doing it uh, like more than once in a year. So there's a challenge with sponsorship and uh, with attendance, but. As you said, the sponsorship fee here is much smaller than any other place, and also the attendance. We see people uh, in Mellanox and other companies going to what do you call open stack conference where only there are thousands of dollars. And this is a very dynamic community, and we're, we're really working. Uh, so, so there is some advantage to meet uh, somehow every eight months and not every 13 months or something. So I, th I think we should, we should, uh, it feels to me like. Uh, once a year, it's, um, it could be better if we do it every eight months, nine months, something like that. But you can do, do an organized poll and, and see what's people. Um, have you considered Bear in mind, doing we got both. a lot of content after what? just eight months. Excuse me? We have a lot of content. I mean, more, I think we had more content this time than last time, and it's only been eight months. Right. So my, so my, my concern is so, so you're we're, not we're getting the content in. There's a lot of people with a lot of stuff. So you and got the content, you got the people, you got the content, you got the people, what's the problem? <laughs> but, it, instead of spreading the time out between them, go ahead and make them closer together. If you're going to grow, grow. Have two a year. Corporate sponsorship shouldn't be a problem. There's other conferences that do two to four a year in other open source so communities. So at, at the sound of sounding selfish, I like this. I, I like the fact that I can talk to everybody. <laughs> a small conference as opposed to an open stack 30,000 people conference. This is great, right? You, you communicate with other people, have hallway conversations. So, but keep in mind, we also see higher participation numbers at European meetings than at Asian meetings, for example. And you will probably see the same for the submissions because if people can't travel to the place, they will not submit something, right? So higher than North America um, or about the same? N no, it's, Let's take this yeah. <laughs> okay. We should compare notes. Okay. I think it's a, there's a demographic pattern we should match. Yeah. So I'll, I'll add a, another, just another voice on, uh, you're trying to do this along with the ITF for a reason, right? That you, it's convenient for people who are going to the ITF to be able to go to this as well. Wait, it's because of her. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry? She started this. Oh, it's because <laughs> of it. Well, so, so I think it's, it's valuable to have that. Uh, personally, for me, it's super valuable to have that. But if we start doing it, uh, at a cadence that's that's super high. Like even if we do it twice a year, 
uh, in the general case, I might risk losing my family. And that's a real concern. Like, you know, it's like uh, if I have to go two weeks instead of one week, uh, um, two or three times a year, that makes it harder. But again, these are just you know considerations. I think ultimately, you go where the polls go and and uh, do the poll, see where people land, and and run with it. Okay. I, I what the action item I heard was slow, IETF. You need to slow down, <laughs> make it once a year, <laughs> so that we can so, keep up. So What's the consensus now? We'll do a poll. I'll, I'll set up a Google okay. uh, form and we'll do a, we'll do a quick survey. But the, everybody understand the choices we are, go, we are faced with. Hopefully, we'll put some more words in the poll right. and it'll be clear. And we have to make a decision quick, right? Yes. Uh, I mean, clearly, Hawaii is the winning choice here. But, uh, but, but the only Actually, option behind my is house is the best choice. But... <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Hopefully, we'll see you next time.